Hi Pisces and welcome to your January 2021 general tarot forecast. This is Sky to talk to you about the energies coming up for your sign in the month of January. I'm really, really happy to be here with you Pisces. I'm uh, so looking forward to talking about some of the insights I'm getting about your energy. So uh, this really does look like a bit of a homecoming for you Pisces. Um, as I was talking about in your year ahead forecast, um, the energy for your sign moving into this new year is much more uh, less focused and less spotlighted. So you have a lot of free reign, you have a lot of free territory to decide what you want to uh, be, what you want to represent, and how you want to uh, show yourself to the world. Um, what rank do you want to have um, in your own creative process? Um, what is your... Um, projection, okay? Projection identity is coming up, and it seems to be something really exciting for you to ponder. Um, of course, this means a lot of different things. I could definitely see a new career on the horizon for Pisces. You guys have Knight of Pentacles and Ten of Swords in that first week slot, so it's like you might be ending a career and starting a new one. Um, and also with Queen of Pentacles and Five of Pentacles coming up, it does feel that you're really focused on your um, value sources in life, that you're really focused on uh, what brings you a sense of material security. Material security is always a karmic issue for Pisces because the sign of Pisces has transcended the material. It's no longer about money and property and, you know, uh, tangible things anymore with the energy of Pisces. It is more so about a spiritual... Uh, totality. It is more so about void space and uh, that which is greater than um, money, you know, so life force. Uh, that said, though, we're in Capricorn season in the beginning of January, so we all have to focus a little bit on the material and on the uh, sources of value in our lives, and that seems to be a big part of your month, okay? Um, you're also getting a new idea this month. You're getting a very new uh, formula, a new um, strategic approach to your uh, creative process in life. You're healing. Um, some of you might have had an illness that you're healing from now, a chronic or autoimmune disease that um, is now getting uh, healed. You've got uh, the Four of Swords, Ace of Swords, Queen of Pentacles uh, coming up, and the Chariot. So it's like progress. It's a natural healing process that gives you the progress you've needed. So um, as you go through that, you might see that this career that you had or this output of energy of which you used to think was necessary to like pay the bills or to um, get you through is now replaced or optionally able to be replaced uh, with something much more authentic. So seeking authenticity, seeking rest, seeking uh, rejuvenation and regeneration is your game this month. Let's talk about the week to week Pisces. Week number one of January, you have a Knight of Pentacles rooted down by Ten of Swords, like we're talking about um, the end of a career and the beginning of a career, the uh, shift in your philosophy towards money and budget, um, ending poverty consciousness. This is something I've talked about for everyone. We are looking at the uh, idea of scarcity, poverty, lack, all of those things. Jupiter and Saturn are together, and we can actually get a little bit more of a positive spin with Jupiter conjunct Saturn. Um, we can now think, okay, well, when I lacked like that, when I had those limitations, I learned so much about myself more than I would have if I had all these like different things to buy and different um, you know business concepts to focus on and different you know uh, clothing materials to wear in different colors all the time every day. Um, that is the only reason that we experience poverty or scarcity in life is uh, to see beneath all of those external things. And Pisces does go through that a lot. So that's kind of what's happening on to happening to you as well is uh, seeing beneath the uh, projection and rerouting the projection through that um, perception that you get there. I would also say that you are um, maybe feeling betrayed by somebody when it comes to commitments, okay? Knight of Pentacles can also be about commitments or somebody uh, coming to your um, aid or help. It feels like that is not really panning out. So anybody that you've been relying on, I would I would watch out for being confident in another person or relying on another person to um, get something done in the material world for you. It feels like it's it's all on you for now, and uh, anything else is just kind of an extra nice thing to have. But um, yeah, there could be a disappointment regarding uh, commitments. So um, just watch out for making commitments that aren't sturdy. Sturdiness. 
it's a big thing right now and definitely echoing in your second week queen of pentacles rooted down by ace, ace of swords new ideas about sturdiness new ideas about what security and uh, stability are you know to get those uh projections that you want to get that identity that you crave or that new position or whatever it is, is we're all kind of thinking about that during capricorn season capricorn is the sign of status reputation titles positions all of that um the last week of Capricorn season, that second week of January for you, is giving you focus there, and it's giving you a new window of hope, a new idea to make progress, a new formula to follow uh, that seems to be evocative of authenticity and ease and simplicity, which has you putting out less energy, but ultimately getting more in return than had you put out all that energy. It's beautiful. Second week of January will really heal up your financial situation or your career situation or your idea towards the uh, security and stability of your life. Big changes there, but also great new ideas and formulas. Week number three, you have the Four of Swords rooted down by Two of Pentacles reversed. So uh, indecisiveness and lack of clarity is no longer being as prevalent, but that is what is making you feel bad, okay? What, what I mean is the uh, previous frenetic way of going about healing or the f previous frenetic way of uh, shifting and cycling through options in your life seems to be responsible for this maybe lull or this uh, feeling of dis-ease in your life. Four of Swords is about uh, tiredness and it's about um, also beautiful rest. So the rest that it takes to overcome an ailment, the rest that it takes to heal it is simultaneously both of those. Uh, so, But it being rooted down by that sort of uh, indecision energy of Two of Pentacles says maybe you can't decide, you know, is this resting helping me or is it contributing to a more, you know, depressed mindset? Uh, that's a very smart way to think about things because sometimes rest is um, not always helpful to us. We can oversleep. There are things like hypersomnia. And, uh, you know, getting more than 10 hours of sleep a night actually um, is connected to higher death rates, according to certain, sci certain scientific uh, research. Uh, so we can overdo rest as well. Watch out for that. Watch out for overdoing that. And what, what is that saying? You know, is there way too much energy going out and not being returned where you have to compensate for rest? Is there um, maybe... A bit of an error in the circadian rhythm is there a chemical component to this is there too much caffeine at the wrong time of the day too much sugar um, likewise is there maybe um, a mindset that has you uh, standing uh, in your way to being okay with the commitments you have commitments are coming up again and it seems that maybe you have some commitments that you'd rather not get out of bed for. And uh, that is natural right now coming out of Capricorn season. But you, we would hope to see um, more of uh, improvement there. Uh, week number four, you have five of pentacles reversed rooted down by the chariot. So um, you're out of it. That poverty consciousness thing, that scarcity mindset, you're out of it. You are um, preparing the carriage and you are leaving that behind. I love that Five of Pentacles has come up reversed because it says to me that um, you're not walking down the cold road. You're not going to hunker down. You're not going to ignore the benevolence of the universe that is right at your side. But rather, you're going to um, get into your noble attire. You're going to get into the carriage and be like... Um, restful as you progress. What I love about the chariot, and this is an interpretation that um, I've actually never understood until this reading, so thank you Pisces. Um, what I love about the chariot is it represents movement and momentum while resting. So the person in the chariot is not having to like walk the distance. They're not having to break a sweat to move uh, where they're going. It's kind of like driving your car. You know, if you drive your car 10 miles in the morning to the nearest uh, Starbucks like I do, um, you're not having to walk that 10 miles. This is a great thing about human evolution and technology where, um, you know, I, I don't have to walk 10 miles to get to the, um, to the, to the merchants or whatever, you know? Um, and that, that's what we have to start thinking about things with, especially in this technological era of, uh, Jupiter and Saturn and Aquarius, um, how can we um, program this? How can we automate this a little bit? What certain things in our lives maybe are we um, essentially walking 10 miles to Starbucks when we could uh, drive 
our car. Um, there might be some things like that that can really be simplified for you, Pisces. Um, and you're encouraged to maybe do as little uh, physical labor as possible or as little... Um, and thinking about this, not just with physical effort, but also with mentalities. Um, in what way mentally and internally are you essentially walking 10 miles to Starbucks when you could drive your car? Are you really putting yourself through the ringer? Are you really um, making certain uh, decision-making processes? Two of Pentacles also. Are you making certain decision-making processes way more of a battle than they have to be when you could kind of set up the chariot and turn it on autopilot? I like these ideas of autopilot for you, Pisces. That seems to be a great leg up for you right now. And ultimately, um, this is a magical month of uh, making things easier for yourself. Uh, what is the worst case scenario is just feeling a little bit forlorn or maybe a little bit um, irrelevant in who you used to be. But what is so hopeful is within that you have a lot of free reign to uh, make changes or to speed things up or optimize aspects of your life in a way that you have a lot easier um, path in front of you, like way less labor, way less uh, long hours, way less, um, you know, tiredness as well, and a lot more enthusiasm, a lot more enjoyment of who you are and what you represent, and a lot more of creation of your own value source, it seems like. So yeah, new businesses, new um, mindsets regarding value in general seems to be the most prevalent. But um, anyway, Pisces, uh, kind of a brief, nice, short reading for you uh, generally this month. I'm going to be putting together an extended over on Patreon if you would like to get a central theme and two supporting themes and support this channel on Patreon. That will be linked below as well as in the center of your screen now. I would love to welcome you over to Patreon here during the new year. Um, I'm doing weekly forecasts every week, which are a Patreon exclusive, and you get these readings early, ad-free, and extended counterparts, all for uh, the one monthly fee. So do check that out if you get the opportunity. Anyway, Pisces, thank you so much. Have a wonderful, wonderful month ahead. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.